So today, we have such an exciting episode. Uh, we are making a classic Spanish recipe from the Southern Spanish kitchen, but more specifically, the beautiful region of Andalucía. We are talking Spanish cod fritters, and we're gonna serve them next to a delicious alioli. This is known in Spain as tortillitas de bacalao. And let me tell you, this dish has a beautiful restaurant quality presentation. The fritters have an insane amount of flavor to them, and it's all done in a little over 30 minutes. Folks, you can serve these cod fritters as a tapas appetizer, like they do in Spain, or even as a main course, uh, next to some roasted potatoes and a garden salad. Either way, serve these fritters next to a bottle of Spanish wine. Uh, more specifically, from the wine region of Jumilla, you're gonna have yourself an instant trip through beautiful España. All right, let's begin by filling a saucepan with some cold water. You wanna go to a little over the halfway point. Then we'll season generously with sea salt and heat it with a high heat. Once the water comes to a boil, I'm gonna add in one cod filet and we'll lower the fire to a low medium heat and we're gonna cook the cod between six to seven minutes or until it's just cooked through. The size of the filet that I'm using is eight ounces, which is about 250 grams. And I did buy the cod frozen and thawed it out, but you can also use fresh cod here as well as any other type of firm white fish. After about six to eight minutes, the cod filet should be fully cooked through. You know you can always pierce it with a toothpick and if it easily goes in there, it is ready to go. At this point, I'm gonna remove the saucepan from the heat and we'll drain it into a colander and let the cod sit there for a few minutes. That way the water can drain and it can slightly cool off. In the meantime, let's start making our batter. I'm gonna add in half a cup of all-purpose flour into a large bowl. This is 60 grams. Then we'll make a well in the flour Crack in one egg and we'll whisk the egg until it's well mixed. Then we'll add in one third cup of cold beer, which is 90 milliliters. You can substitute the beer for the same amount of club soda. And we'll mix all the ingredients together until we end up with a batter with no lumps in it. Then we'll add in one small onion that's been finely chopped, two cloves of garlic that have been roughly chopped, and two tablespoons of freshly chopped parsley, which is eight grams. You can substitute this for one teaspoon of dried parsley. Then we'll season with half a teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is 1.25 grams, a pinch of sea salt, and some freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a mix until everything's well mixed together. As always, the Spanish paprika I'm using is from Kiva. You'll find a link where you can get some in the description box below. And if you buy it from that link, you'll also get 25% off your order. Once everything is well mixed, I'm gonna grab the cod filet that we cooked earlier, which is now cool enough to handle, and I'm gonna finely chop it into small chunks. Then we'll add in the chopped cod into the batter, and we'll give it one final mix until everything's well mixed together. And that's the exact texture we're looking for right there, a slightly thick, creamy batter. If you see your batter's too thick, just add in more liquid in there. But let me tell you, either way you go, this is a very forgiving batter, meaning even if your measurements are not on the money, you're still gonna end up with delicious fritters. For the next step, I'm gonna heat a large fry pan with a medium heat, and add in half a cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is 120 milliliters. Once the oil is nice and hot, but it's not smoking, I'm gonna start adding spoonfuls of the batter into the pan. You wanna make sure all the fritters are evenly spaced out and in a single layer, so make sure to cook these in batches. And we're gonna go for about a minute and a half to two minutes per side or until the fritters are golden fried all around. And as you finish cooking the fritters, Transfer them into a plate with some paper towels that we can absorb any of the excess oil. And if you want to keep the fritters warm while you cook the rest of the batches, just add them into a preheated oven at its lowest setting.
Once all the fritters are done, let's make our very simple alioli, which just takes about two minutes to put together. Of course, you can make this ahead of time. I'm going to add in two cloves of garlic that I roughly chopped into a mortar, along with a quarter teaspoon of saffron threads, which is 0.17 grams. As always, the saffron I'm using is from Golden Saffron. You'll find a link where you can get some in the description box below. And a kiss of sea salt. And using a pestle, we'll pound down on the ingredients until we form a paste-like texture. Then we'll add in half a cup of mayonnaise, which is 120 grams. Squeeze in one teaspoon of fresh lemon juice, which is five milliliters. And drizzle in one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, which is 15 milliliters. Then we'll season with a kiss of sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll mix it together until we end up with a creamy sauce. For the final step, let's start plating our dish. I'm going to add the alioli into a serving plate. And we'll decorate the cod fritters around the alioli. And check it out, tortillitas de bacalao, Spanish cod fritters with a delicious alioli. Beautiful presentation, super easy to make, and all done in a little over 30 minutes. Let's give them a try and see how they turned out. Seriously, look how beautiful this dish turned out. This I cannot wait to try. Yeah, I gotta be honest here. I've already had one of the fritters when I was cooking them in batches. I just couldn't resist, but I haven't tried them with the alioli yet. Here we go. Wow. The fritters themselves have so much flavor to them and such a great texture. And the alioli with the saffron taking things to the next level. Folks, once again, serve these as a tapas appetizer like they do in Spain or even as a main course. Either way, this is what the classic Spanish Southern Kitchen is all about. Really quick before I go, a uh, shout out to a couple of my patrons, Rogelio Jr. Rivera, Elaine Engros, Natalie Schuster, Brian Skeever, and Georgia Candioti. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, uh, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. That way you can get notified every time I release new content and to become a part of the Spain on a Fork family. Till the next time, hasta luego.